All right, let's check this out. One, two, three. Alright, so we're doing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. One of the new songs for our Beatles Bites collection. And this one is just the, the short little intro that we're going to do for it. So, um, yeah, that's it. It's pretty cool. And it's going to be based off... Some arpeggios. So let's grab some tuning notes. First string, E, second string, sorry, first string, A, second string, E, third string, C, and fourth string, G, although we're not even going to be playing the fourth string for this one. So thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing following, sharing, all that good stuff that comes with our social media. It's really appreciated. And without you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you for all that. Um, so check this out. Whoa, all right. So let me, uh, let's play this intro one more time here, okay? One, two, three. intro and the backing track sounds cool with the uh, the organ sound so feel free to say hi leave a comment ask a question just uh, anything you want so interact with me that's the one benefit of doing live video okay so it's not overly difficult except some of these chord shapes may be slightly new to you and I and I put the chord shapes on there and really what these are, these are all basically an A chord, but we have some different bass notes. All right, and so the first chord here is going to be basically an A slash E, so meaning an A chord slash meaning an E is in the bass. So my fingering here for it is first finger on the third string, fourth fret. Second finger on the second string, fifth fret, and then my pinky is on the first string, seventh fret. So four, five, and seven. I'm using my first finger, second finger, and my pinky. And this is an arpeggio. So what I mean by that is that I want to hold these notes down as I play all of them. So it's going to be third string, second string, first string. And what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb on the third string, my first finger on the second string, and then my middle finger on the first string. So I'm doing a finger style arpeggio. And I think the arpeggio sounds better versus playing each note individually. Because when you play an arpeggio and hold it down, those notes get to ring out really nice and clear. If I play each note individually, notice how short they sound. So I'll hold the chord and let each note kind of ring on top of each other. All right, so this is your first chord. This is your, your A slash E. Then what I'm going to do is I got to switch my finger in here and I'm going to grab my third finger here. What do I do here? Yeah, I think I'm going to change my finger in here slightly when I was the next chord. So what I'll do is I'll move my second finger here to the third string, third fret, I'm sorry, seventh fret. This is an A slash G. And then my third finger is here on the, let's see. Okay, that's what I do. 
there. Yeah, so I keep my pinky down. Sorry, I just had to make sure to see how I'm doing it. I keep my pinky down here on the first string, seventh fret. I'm just going to add my second finger. You could use your third finger or your second finger to the third string, seventh fret. And then my first finger is going to be on the second string, fifth fret. Now, this pattern is slightly different. Instead of going thumb, index, middle with my finger, I'm going to go thumb on the third string, and then it's going to jump to the first string, and then to the second string. So it's going to be seventh fret on the third string, seventh fret on the first string, and then second string, fifth fret. So if, if the arpeggio changes slightly. So measure one is thumb, index, middle, and then the second measure is thumb, middle, index. Okay, so let's do those two measures. First two, A slash E, A slash E. Three, four, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And notice on that one I happen to use my third finger instead of my second finger. So I can't, I can't control it sometimes. It's just whatever, whatever my mind is throwing out there, that's what happens. So what I didn't forget, I forgot to tell you is that, and it's not in the tab, is that this song is in three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, 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 one. Okay, so we got your first chord, A slash E, your second chord, A slash G, and I do think I'm gonna use my third finger here on the third string, seventh fret, that's in. That's second or third time that finger's gone to that particular shape, okay? Again, hold your arpeggio. Let those notes ring out over one another. Then, I'm gonna just keep my first and my pinky here and I'm gonna add my second finger to the third string sixth fret. My first finger is gonna remain on the second string fifth fret and my pinky is gonna be on the first string seventh fret first. This is a slash F sharp. I'll talk about what that means in a second. Now this pattern goes back to the original one which is third string, second string, and first string. Just a straight downward arpeggio. So thumb, index, middle. Okay, so let's play the first three measures now. We're building it up. Two, three, so it's one, And then the last measure is going to go. Now, what's on the screen is slightly different than what I sent you. So, and that's okay because I could show you some options here. So this lick is going to be, what's going to be happening here is my second finger is going to be on the third string fifth fret. And then I'm going to have my third finger on the first string fifth fret. Now what happens is, is you're going to play third string and then the first string but it has a pull off to the fourth fret of the first string. So it's going to go that pull off sound, which means I'm going to play the fifth fret and then pull it off as my first finger is here on the first string fourth fret. And to get the pull off, you got to push the string towards the fretboard and snap it off. Okay, so it's. Again, you want to hold this second finger there. It's actually a, kind of a hard lick. If you have to remove the second finger to do it, that's okay, but the goal is to keep that second finger down and still do the pull off. It takes a little bit of strength in that finger. Now, the next note here is an A note, and so what's written on the chart here is second string, fifth fret, which is A. So. So when I do the pull off, my third finger then goes to the second string, fifth fret. One, two, and three. And those pull offs are eighth notes, so it's one, two, and three. Now, the option here is that instead of playing the A note on the second string, fifth fret, it may be easier to do open first string. So you'd still do everything the same, pull off, and then you release the first finger and play your first string open. Or, there, so your A could either be first string open or second string, fifth fret. Okay, so let's, let's try that measure together. Three, oh, it's not four, one, 
two, three. So it's one, two, and three. Again, ready, and one, two, and three. Okay, so let's play all four measures nice and slow. One, two, three. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and. Now repeat. And if you notice, the first time I played the open A on that last chord, and the second time I played the A on the second string, fifth fret. Ah, right, let's check in here. I haven't checked in yet today, so let's see. Hopefully, my feed's been all right. Uh, okay, there I am, and I see. Uh, okay, so I see uh, Ellen's here. Hey, Ellen, and Heather, my beautiful wife, and Loretta, my aunt Loretta, and Chris is back in. Chris is having some issues with Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure uh, what's going on, so sorry about that, Chris. Um, I tried to do a nice little backdrop today of a little Beatles thing, but I, as much as I could get into the, uh, the shot today. All right, why don't we try this now with the slow back and track. So we're going to play this three times, this, this lick three times. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. So that was nice and slow. Hopefully you can hear the backing track all right. The click is a little slow, loud, quiet, excuse me, but then the organ's a little loud. Maybe I'll buff it up just a little bit. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful tune. I'm sorry, I'm a little, uh, I feel like I'm a little out of it today. I went to bed real late, about 4.30 a.m., and then I was up early and drove to L.A., so just taught a couple classes. Got a couple more to go, rehearsal tonight. So just a uh, little, uh, feeling a little, all over the place, so I apologize for that. It's just lack, lack of sleep, I think. All right, so what else is there to say about it? Uh, oh, the slash chord, that's what I wanna talk about. So notice that the first chord, it actually says A, it should say A slash E, because what that slash means is that you have a different bass note than the root. So it's an A chord, when we play our normal A chord, our lowest note, or the root, is the A. And that's the note you hear first when you strum it down. But in this case, on this first chord, it should actually be A slash E because the first note we play here is an E note. So A slash E, so A chord with an E in the bass. Then the second chord says A slash G, excuse me, G. And the reason is, so it's an A chord, but we have a G here on the third string, seventh fret in the bass. Next chord says A slash F sharp, which is an A chord with an F sharp here on the third string, sixth fret in the bass. And then the last chord is A slash F, again meaning an A chord with an F in the bass, which is our third string, fifth fret. That's our intro, our Beatles bites, right? Not the whole song, but the intro. And the intro is actually a majority of the song anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do this with the fast backing track now. One, two, three. on an E note as your last chord. 
All right, so why don't we do it one more time? That's, that's a little fast, and I don't know how the finger picking is going for you. I don't know if that's something that could use a little bit more work or if it's something you feel real comfortable doing, but that and that pull off, I think are the kind of the tough parts about this. Okay, so one more time with the fast backing track. Here we go. One, two, three. Simple as that. So let me do one last check in. I see uh, when I last looked, I saw uh, Gary checked in with us and Chris. Uh, yeah, thank you for the Beatles bites. Uh, okay, seems to be stabilized. Good. All right, so I don't know if uh, the Facebook is having a problem. Hopefully, the video I'm recording from my iPad here will be solid and, and I'll load that up to the master class. So that's going to do it for Lucy in the Sky Diamonds for our Beatles bites. Thank you for being here and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.